Hey YouTube, this is my custom 3D printed Fist of Rucked and shoulder armor for Tartarus. As you know, we've gotten Tartarus twice now and neither time did we get accurate accessories for him. So I saw some other people creating uh, the Fist of Rucked, his weapon, but I thought I could do a pretty good job of it. So, what I've attempted to do here is create a Halo 2 Anniversary accurate version of the Fist of Ruck. And I think I've done a pretty good job. Uh, what I did was I modeled this myself and I tried to add in as many details as I could uh, by looking at screenshots of the cutscenes. Because the cutscene version has much more detail than the actual in-game version. Uh, I, sh I should be saying model. The, uh, the model that was used for the cutscenes has much more detail in it than the model for the game. So, if you were to uh, use a, a model viewer for Halo 2 and you open up the model for Fist of Rucked, it would uh, it would have a lot less detail than you'd think due to the the textures. The texture has a lot of uh, detail. Sorry, I'm messing with my camera. The texture has a lot of detail in it, but when you remove the texture, it's pretty blank underneath. So, I tried to add in the details that you see in the textures as well as from the cutscene, uh, which include the, um, uh, I'm not sure what you would call them, the little, I guess, gravity generators, maybe, um, the spiky bits on the front and on the back. Um, I've added in a lot of detail to them. Maybe I can get my phone to focus on them. There we go. Um, you can see the little rectangles in there. There are rivets on the side of the round piece. Let me get my little pointer out to show you. Right there at the end of my red pointer, you might be able to see one of the rivets. Um, in the cutscenes, you can see inside this is a blue ring. That ring is modeled in here. It's very hard to see, but it is there. There is so much detail packed into each one of these little gravity generators or repulsors, whatever they are, that... Unfortunately, it's just very hard to see with the scale of this because it is very small. I mean, this is, you know, my pointer finger and it's, it's you know, Mega Constructs figures are small. Um, so I tried to pack as much detail into this as possible to make it the best version out there for your figures. <laughs> the handle was challenging. Uh because it comes out of the head at an angle and it is, if you look at the model from the game, it is curved. Uh, this was hard to achieve in Mega because I didn't want to have a curved handle that it's all sorts of geometry that is hard for the hands to hold on to. So you can see here the handle is straight until about this point, just past his uh, right hand where it flares at the bottom to closely match the in-game model. It does have the ring on the bottom, which does not move. I tried to get it to move uh, freely, but the tolerances in the uh, connection point, you might be able to see there is some free space behind it. That is such a small amount of space there. Um, essentially the resin fuses together. I could have made the hole larger 
but that is already a thin spot. I thought it would introduce unnecessary weakness into the model to attempt that. So I decided to leave it fixed to the handle. I added vent detail to the sides of the hammerhead. Here I can let me pause it. Okay, I added in vent detail on the side of the hammerhead, which is not in the in-game model, but you can see it in the textures and in the cutscene model. So I added that in. I modeled the handle to closely represent the Mega Constructs gravity hammers to give it a more familiar look. Here it is compared to the gravity hammer that this Tartarus comes with out of the package. I tried to make the handles closely, resemb closely resemble this. Uh, it looks the same on all the other gravity hammers. And here you can see I'm what I'm talking about with the straight handle that flares out at the bottom. If I angle this slightly better so that the head is flat on top you might be able to see how the handle is slanted which I did that to try and mimic the curved handle on the in-game model and I think it turned out well this is the one of the two shoulder armor variants that I have created. The other one is this. This is what his shoulder armor looks like early in the game. And later in the game he has a Sanghealy skull attached to his shoulder. So I've just simply taken the version without the skull and put a skull on it and attached some straps to hold it in place, which looks just like it does in the game. Getting this to attach to the arm properly was tricky. It is not perfect. It has a little, little bit of wiggle, but it does hold itself in place. It's not going to fall off of your figure. Uh, I do sell all three of these in a Chieftain pack, is what I call it. You get the hammer and both versions of the shoulders. Or you can buy the shoulder armor and the hammer separately. So thank you for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more of my customs. See you later.